This is illegal. When you get all the tech giants together who control 90 plus percent of the internet coming in, you know, music, searches, podcast, uh, advertising, and they start saying the NRA can't be on our platforms. Then they start saying Alex Jones can't be on our platforms. Then they say, oh, Trump can't be on our platforms. And then all these Republican Congress people rerunning for election, suddenly they can't advertise when the Democrats can. And suddenly they can't even reach out to their constituents. And suddenly they can't even put out a campaign statement or a video. It gets blocked or banned. And then Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube and Google get up there in congressional hearings and go, we're not blocking you at all. And the Congress for the next day goes and looks and he's totally banned. He's shadow banned. He's still there, but no one can see it. And now Twitter and Facebook and Google, they're all hiring former Obama administration officials who are even worse. And then Matt Gates goes, I don't think it's a coincidence we're all being banned. You don't think it's a coincidence? They said they're doing it to you. They think you're idiots because they've been doing it the whole time and their representatives come and lie to your face. If you want to see how they rub our noses in it, Punch up where the Alex Jones channel used to be before the globalist Death Star blew it up. And on the tombstone, they put Saturday Night Live. They put other so-called fake news comedy shows up there, and they put BuzzFeed. Show that, can we punch that up? Because I was asking during the break for it. Uh, when you go where our uh, YouTube used to be, you see that they've uh, said this account has been terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines. The communities, a bunch of shadowy leftists from the Democratic Party, openly brag, put it back up, please, openly brag that they're going to shut us down. They run around for months doing it, lying and, and, and false flagging in a true sense, making up stuff I never did. And then on the tombstone, they say, here's channels that are related, which, of course, is a total lie. BuzzFeed, The Tonight Show, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Saturday Night Live, all the leftist garbage. So they piss on our grave and on the billions of views and 2.5 million subscribers and all the work about GMO and glyphosate giving you cancer, and, and, and all the amazing interviews with, like, Gore Vidal. And, uh, my point is, is what they said we were wasn't even what we were. And then they say in big joint statements from Google and Facebook and YouTube and Apple, they say, we don't allow the bullying of children or transgenders or Islamophobia. They don't show what I said or did. Those are hate speech terms out of Europe. It's authoritarianism, no judge, no jury. A secret group reports you. You don't get to see what it was you supposedly did. We go back and find the videos on our own servers, and it's two and three-year-olds at a public event giving money to drag queens, shaking their rear ends in their faces. I think that is abusive to children. I think it's bizarre. But they then say you can't do it. Then we show a video from ABC News of a kid punching an adult in the face four times, the parent or the adult pushes him down. It was all over the news, but we're bullies. So see how everything they do is a fraud. CNN, which literally has the lowest ratings of any cable TV channel, reruns of Yogi Bear have double the viewers, is, 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 is over, it's done. But now it's an engine of censorship and hate to go out and racketeer and work with the New York Times, the Washington Post, Google, Apple, all of them, News Corps is involved, and shut everyone down. And this is how they do it. This is how they carry out the fraud. And it's here. So they can steal the midterms, and so China can be protected as they set up censorship systems for Apple and Google, and it's officially in the news. I love how Gateway Pundit asks, are tech giants working together to censor conservatives, Apple, Facebook, bans, Infowars on the same day? Again, do bears go to the bathroom in the woods? I don't know, Gateway Pundit. It's just incredible.
I told you this was coming. But they use military tactics. They would always say, no one's censoring you. Nobody took you off YouTube or Facebook. What are you talking about? Nobody, until they finally dropped the hammer. Just like for six months before we invaded Panama in the late 80s. They had helicopter touch and goes. They fired blanks. They threw flashbangs out of helicopters. So when they finally hit the Panamanian defense forces with C-130s and helicopters and commandos, they were overwhelmed and defeated in about three hours and very low U.S. casualties. So what they do is they attack, they attack, they attack, but in probes. And now the universities, the media, the corporate media, the big tech giants are all working in concert against the American people and the people of Europe. And former government spies are working. Remember four years ago, the former Stasi head of uh, operations was, uh, she was high level over a, a whole action group. She was hired to run the program for Facebook censoring German nationalists and conservatives. Remember uh, Zuckerberg on tape? with Merkel and a hot mic saying, don't worry, we'll soon censor all the conservatives off the web. This is it. Google seeks a return to China. It's said to be building a censored search engine. And when you actually read what the whistleblower said, they said they're doing it here already. They're preparing it in China. They're moving and they're using what they're building in the US and China together against people already and it's dangerous. That's what the whistleblower actually said and the documents actually showed. The New York Times knows they helped kill millions of children in Iraq and other areas. They know they helped fund the Arab Spring. They are cold-blooded evil people. Take the, the new editorial board lady saying whites are subhuman, all the rest of it. Uh, they, they need to die. And she loves it when cops get killed and all this. They say she stays. Roseanne Barr doesn't because she's a fellow traveler. This is their plan. This is the army they've created on the universities for 30 years. They're now going to turn loose on everybody. Now, I said I'd show you a little video on, on, on why they want to shut down, but let's do that at the start of the next segment. It's just that this is so huge, ladies and gentlemen. But the big issue here is this is illegal. When you get all the tech giants together who control 90-plus percent of the Internet coming in, you know, music, searches, podcast, uh, advertising, and they start saying the NRA can't be on our platforms. Then they start saying Alex Jones can't be on our platforms. Then they say, oh, Trump can't be on our platforms. And then all these Republican Congress people rerunning for election, suddenly they can't advertise when the Democrats can. And suddenly they can't even reach out to their constituents. And suddenly they can't even put out a campaign statement or a video. It gets blocked or banned. And then Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and Google get up there in congressional hearings and go, we're not blocking you at all. And the Congress for the next day goes and looks, and he's totally banned. He's shadow banned. He's still there, but no one can see it. And now Twitter and Facebook and Google, they're all hiring former Obama administration officials who are even worse. And then Matt Gates goes, I don't think it's a coincidence we're all being banned. You don't think it's a coincidence? They said they're doing it to you. They think you're idiots because they've been doing it the whole time. And their representatives come and lie to your face. And they just want me shut up because I'm going, hey, only thing wrong with Drudge Report is it's got a red apple. And it should be the communist Chinese flag over the apple saying apple crossed out, China regulates U.S. Internet. China regulates U.S. conservatives. You know what? They can't stop you because AI doesn't know how to understand memes. And everyone must make memes about Apple and Google being Chinese run. And everyone must lift InfoWars up as a standard to be defended and saved. There's a hashtag that Millie Weaver decided to put out, hashtag free InfoWars, that's trending in the top of tw Twitter. Fight them politically. Never stop. Get in there and ram free InfoWars out and tell folks, hey, it's the most censored thing in the world for a reason. Jones is dialed in. Jones knows who the enemy is. He understands the globalist program. He knows how to take action. And he's warning the Congress and the president and patriots in the EU, you name it. I mean, let me tell you something. I get on the phone with leaders of the resistance in Europe and the U.S., and they ask me what should be done. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Look at that. Everybody else is just like yellow or clear. That's because it's been denatured. It's been watered down. We didn't do that. <laughs> 
You think I would metaphysically sell you something that is the very best I can get? I'd rather go to hell than do that. I will only give you the maximum best info, the maximum truth, the maximum product, because I want that good will. What I do to you, I do to myself. Don't you get the big secret? You ever seen fish oil look like that? No, you never seen that, have you? And this little jewel right here is solid liquid consciousness. Look it up. Find out how even the FDA and the government admits fish oil is incredible. The number one thing anybody can do for themselves is take good fish oil or krill oil. Just like our information is dynamite, so are our products, Infowarstore.com.